Hello friend, welcome to Hollywood Star. For today's list, we're looking at memorable cast member of a movie called Braveheart. You will know their real name and age. We're going to see how they changed from 1995 to 2022. Subscribe for more videos like this. Let's go. Argyle Wallace He is William Wallace's uncle. Argyle raised William and showed him how to use the thought. He took William on a journey around the world. Argyle first showed up up to Malcolm's funeral and tell William that he is his uncle. He was played by Bran Cox. Lord Bottom He controlled the area including the village of Lanark. He faithfully served the King of England. He himself is the self-confident type who will not miss his own. Can't stand it when people break the rules. He was portrayed by Robert Van Sittard. King Edward Longshank He is the King of England. He is a well-known ruler of his time. He also known to be a really cruel king. King Edward wanted to take control of Scotland and for this he issued various decree in order to put pressure and take his throne. He was played by Patrick McGohan. Monai He was a wealthy noble in Scotland who believed in Scottish independence but frequently changed mind to suit the situation. He afraid to confront Englishmen. Monai believed that he was one of Longshang men and soon began to side with him. He was played by Alan Armstrong. Philip is a close companion of Prince Edward. He is appointed a Prince Edward personal counselor. Philip loved to take care of himself. King Longshark asked him about his ability, to which Philip tell him that he is skilled in art of war and military tactics. He was played by Stephen Billington. Hamish Campbell He is William Wallace's childhood friend and is the one who always there for him even in difficult times in life. He is one of Scottish revolutionary. He honored Wallace by tossing Wallace's sword and starting chanting his name. The role was played by Brandon Gleeson. Robert the Bruce, a Scottish noble who is a contender for the throne of Scotland. He admired Wallace but is unable to take a side due to the danger it would place him in politically. He stands up for himself as leader and leads the Scottish to victory. He was played by Angus Macfadden. Craig, a Scottish noble and an ally of Robert the Bruce, who betrayed Wallace to the English. He is one of the members of the Council of the Scottish Nobility and is closest to Robert. He didn't like the decree, but don't resist King Edward. He was portrayed by John Cavanagh. Morrison, he is one of Wallace's soldiers and a native villager who took part in his uprising at Lanark. He has a personal feud against the English due to his wife becoming the victim and the oppression of his people. He defends order if possible. He was played by Tommy Flanagan. McLenoff, he is Moron's father, who disapproved of her marrying Wallace. He is a villager of a small community of Lanark, which he mostly do his own farming. He tend to overthinking and is always doubt in his ability to do things. The role was played by Sean McGinley. Moran McLenoff, a childhood friend of Wallace and also his first love, who later become his wife. Her execution by the English is what provoked Wallace's rebellion. She doesn't know how to read but hard working. She always carried the instruction of her parents. She was played by Catherine McCormack. William Wallace, he is the leader of the Scottish uprising against the English who fight for his country. He started a rebellion at Lanark after a murder of his wife, which spread throughout Scotland. He won a battle at Stirling and later sacked York. He was portrayed by Mel Gibson. Governor of York is the nephew of the King of England. He has honor and courage and doesn't seek to escape. When the Scottish broke into the castle using battering rams, he refused to leave the city and upset his uncle. He continued holding on. He was played by Richard Leaf. Isabella of French is the wife of Prince Edward. She is in love with Wallace and later ate him in secret. She later get a child from him, with whom she intend to replace Long Sheng line. At the end, Isabella crying knowing that the one true love of her life is about to die. She was played by Sophie Marshu. Cheltam served the English king and was part of the army that was sent to Stirling. His first duty is to offer the Scot the condition of the king and not bring the matter to military action. He is calm and stubborn. The role was played by Gerard McSoley. Campbell, Hamish and one of the revolutionary in Wallace's army. He was also a good friend of Malcolm Wallace. 
sharing the position of Malcolm Wallace and later support his youngest son William. He is a strong fighter. The role was played by James Cosmo. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next videos. Take care.